Say Cheese with Sanctuary of Reality, my comic review series. Time now for Cerebus issue 295, the 30th chapter of Latter Days. O'Reilly informs Cerebus that the Upper Felden Sanctuary delegate wants to be in the room with Cerebus and Shep Shep to ensure he doesn't try to seduce his own son. Even worse, another sanctuary has overheard this and will change their vote unless their demands are also met. Cerebus asks for details on what useless luxury these sanctuaries want to spend their collection plate money on but are too afraid to ask for. And when O'Reilly explains, Cerebus offers the Upper Felden Sanctuary the most lavish, expensive decor possible if they'll just change their vote. Before O'Reilly goes to deliver this offer, he asks Cerebus what choice of cheese tray he'd like. Cerebus sees his chance to make a break for it when the door is opened, and he makes his selection. And when he gets into place, the tray slides through the slot and slams into its face. Left briefly with the indentation of the tray in his face, Cerebus stuffs himself with cheese and resumes trying to come up with the right wording to get Shep Shep to side with him over his mother. After finishing his cheese, Cerebus gets a severe case of heartburn then asks O'Reilly when his son will be arriving. O'Reilly has good news and bad news again. The bad news is the Upper Feltons have refused the bribe and still want a chaperone for Cerebus and his son. But what's the good news? This is another good issue. There's plenty of old folk humor. There's still some physical comedy. And there's plenty of bureaucratic hijinks. The latter of which reminds me of the kind of stuff that Lord Julius dealt with way back during high society. That amusingly frustrating kind of thing, you know? Most of the issue is just Cerebus sitting there eating cheese. And yet it's never not entertaining. So far, the last day is really kind of like a one-man play. Yeah, I, I could see it being done as a play, so far at least, you know. Up to this point, it's pretty much one man. I mean, you got O'Reilly, but yeah, I mean, get Betty White's agent on the phone. You know, <laughs> I don't know. I can't think of anyone else old enough to play old Cerebus. Except maybe, uh, no, he's dead too. Since this review was so short, I'm now going to review the two cheese plates that Cerebus was offered in this issue. The hickory smoke, lightly aged cheese that gives you heartburn, or the white stringy cheese that sticks to your dental work. Nah, I don't have any cheese. Next time, Cerebus faces his greatest challenge. Nap time.